Hi guys, Todd here. Today uh, we're going to be having a look at um, this thing here. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for this. Uh, now this is the E-Ray by JD Tech. Uh, it's a 2018 650. Uh, it's a 50-50 Marmite. Going to love it. Hate it. You never know. It all comes down to the looks on this one. Uh, it's a bit of a bad boy. This will only fire down to 0 0.3, or sorry, there is a wrap that comes round it when it arrives that states only fire this down to 0 0.3 ohms. Uh, so, bear that in mind. Uh, just I'll, I'll cover that later, but I just wanted to mention that at the start. Now, on it just now, I have the Kanga sub tank that arrived yesterday um, from uh, the Vape Club, vapeclub.co.uk. And uh, we'll have a little vape on this. It's at 4 volts, 0 0.5 ohm coil. I have to say, whilst I think the diameter of the sub tank is ridiculous, what a beautiful vape from it. I mean, a really, really nice vape from it. Um, Better than the Atlantis, in my opinion. Uh, a better vape than the Atlantis. But there you go. Uh, I'll cover that in the review. Um, now, this guy here. I mean, the normal JD Tech resellers will have this. And uh, this is an expensive beastie. This is about £250. Um, it's pretty unique. It is. The styling is kind of out there. Anyway, uh, splash screen shall be coming up with technical spec on it. Hit pause, have a read, hit play, and uh, we'll go for some close-ups. Here we go. Now, for starters, this weighs 217 grams. That's, I just popped it on the scales there just now. Uh, it's aluminium solid aluminium the whole thing uh, I was told it was made from a billet of aluminium and you know we've got the JD logo going on here here and we have E-Ray etched onto here and that's not going anywhere in a hurry it is you know it's like a pistol grip um, you know there's no two ways about it, it's like it's been moulded from a pistol grip and I think it actually has I'm sure Drew said it was a Colt or something like that, I can't honestly remember now just to give you uh, dimensions I mean here it is next to an 18650 battery you get an idea of the size there but I mean, it is. It's designed for holding, and you know, it fits right in the palm of your hand. Now, as you would have seen in the splash screen, it does say that it's got an output of 88 watts, and it's got a 16 amp switch. Uh, now, we have a button here. There's no click or anything from this button. Uh, it's just a, a spongy button uh, to get into here to put your batteries in. We take this section here. And this has been out in the shed, so it's a wee bit cold. There we go. And this slides down like so. There we go. You can see that's getting scored there, but that's just because you have a little locating pin here. Well, a sprung-loaded pin here. Uh, basically, that just... I always get it the wrong way around. Pop that in and slide this up. Am I getting that the wrong way around again? I bet you am. Oh, there we go. So you just take this, push it down on this bit here, like that, and then slide up. Uh, we've got a battery slide in here. I mean, all the electronics are con contained in this module here. I'm using my uh, Sony batteries, and, you know, it's pretty. You've got negative, positive, negative, positive. So I just pop them in like that. And then like that, there's my batteries in, hit the fire button, and you can see that I'm firing at 4 volts just now. 
Now this is your adjustment screw here. I basically just turn this all the way up and I get to 5.55. All the way down. Nothing. Give it a little kick up. Nothing. A little kick up again. Nothing. Try this setting. There we go. 3.39 there. Uh, but that's you've seen that in lots of other uh, variable voltage chips in the past. You know, if you turn it right down, you don't get a display when you fire. Um, and, and you know that is it for the internals. I mean, we have a brass 510 going on here. There's a piece of Delrin round here. Uh, it is adjustable. Uh, you just stick your screwdriver in there and adjust away. And I've had no issues getting anything to sit on here or fire. That is it for the close-ups. This, uh, most of the talking is other stuff's going to be covered when we go back up top. But I'm just going to set this back to four watts, four volts. So I'm just I'll take it up to four point one. Actually, there we go. Okay, four point two five. I'll leave it at that. Let's kick some clouds out. Pop my cover on and slide it up. And that's me. Let's just give you one last look round at the finish here. You can see you've got vents here for the electronics in the back. And that's it. Okay, let's go for a talk. Okay, dokie. Right. How does this perform? Um, putting this on the, the old oscilloscope and it's flatline. Uh, it's not pulse width or anything like that. Um, when I turn it up to 5.5 volts, hit the button, 5.5 volts is what it's putting out. Uh, when I put a 0 0.5 ohm coil uh, build on here and uh, I turn up to 5.5 and I fire it, 5.5 is what it's putting out. So, it's it's doing what it said it should do on a 0.5 ohm coil. Um, and that's as low as I have build-wise. I don't go any lower than that, uh, so I can't really measure it. So, on the oscilloscope, you know, it's it's putting out exactly what it says it's putting out. I mean, this is uh, this works out just on an Ohm's Law calculator. So, we've got 5.5 uh, volts, um, 0.5 ohm build, works out at 11 amps and 60.5 watts. Well, just in case. That'll do. That's even just a little bit too much for the, the old sub tank there. Um, I'll turn this down. And this is where it goes a little bit peak tong for me. Is um, what a pain in the ass for a £250 device to have to be getting a screwdriver out and adjusting the voltage. Um, now, this thing is all about the look. It is an absolute delight to vape with. I, I mean, for me personally, I think it's a stunning looking bit of kit. I love vaping with it. absolutely zero issues with the vape or providing power. Um, I know a lot of folk will go, I can get a 100 watt box mod for £40, £50, I can get a 251 for £65. Yeah, uh, you can, that's true. There is no low battery warning indicator. None. Zero. I'm using unprotected batteries, so I mean I could just keep firing and firing this and I could just run the batteries flat basically, uh, which is not a good thing, not a good thing at all. Uh, that's a major issue for me. As far as I can see there's no cut off, um, I'll just test that yet again. 
yeah, th there's no cut off. It'll keep firing uh, non-stop. Uh, and there is no locking switch either. You, you can pretty much screw anything onto this. They're just the, you know, the contacts are fine. And as we've, we've all already stated that, you know, it performs exactly as it should do. Now, I'm going to, I'm putting on the, the Freak Show here, which is uh, an absolutely brilliant little atty. This Freak Show, 20 quid, 316 stainless steel, and it's awesome. Amazing. Uh, right, I'm going to sum this up. I'm just, I'm just, I know for a £250 device, this is quite a short review actually because it's quite a simple device. Looks wise, I love it. Performance wise, perfect. For me, that, that's enough power for me. Uh, I'll never you know, in a 0 0.5 ohm coil, putting out 60.5 watts exactly. Uh, no drop there at all. It's for me that's perfect. 20, 60 watts, like I'm going to do that. Um, I think the design of it is is just it's a work. It's, a, it's personally I think it's a little work of art. It really is. And I am. I mean, there'll be a serial number in the bottom there as well. And there's only 888 of these getting made. I mean, I've checked the batteries, and the batteries are draining at the same time. You know, there's no issues there with the way the batteries are draining. But you really have to have your noggin switched on, and you you know you need to be aware of how often you've used them, how long you've used them, uh, and and monitor your batteries uh, because you know I can see no cut off or or anything like that on this device, uh, and that for me is also an issue. Um, if anybody knows any different, then feel free to correct me on that. Feel free to correct me on anything in this review, or any review. Oh, and, and, and adjusting the voltage. Uh, is a, whilst it works, having to do that, you know, you know, I can see it. Cool, I just set it. I mean, it's a variable voltage. Variable voltage, you adjust to taste. So if you've got the one atty on all day, you adjust it. And leave it there and that's it, job done. But if you're one of these guys that like swapping builds and atties out and whatnot, you are going to have to keep adjusting this uh, and have a little screwdriver to do it. Because even just, I can adjust it, push it. I mean, I've got fat hands and fingers. I can push it in and spin the dial that way. But I don't like pushing it in. Uh, that's not a good idea in my book. Uh, and that's it. For the E-Ray, whilst I think it is a stunning bit of kit, I really do, the the way you have to adjust the voltage just ruins it, absolutely ruins it. I still love it though and that's the annoying thing, I still love it and I love vaping with it because it's just so bloody comfortable. As for the switch, I should say, it is a firm press. You do have to press this quite firmly to get it to fire. Nothing going on there at all. Pushing pushing the button down. Nothing happening. Firm press. There it goes. That's it, guys. Listen, thanks to Drew at JD Tech for sending this on. I do appreciate that. I did get this free for review. Um, and that's it from me, guys. We'll catch you later. Cheers now. Bye. Little amendment at the end here. There's uh, bits in that video that you've just watched that uh, might seem strangely edited. Uh, that's because when I first did this through, um, I had a major concern over this bit here. Now there's venting here for the electronics, but there's no venting here. Now I thought that this meant that this was going to be a sealed chamber, the drawer's quite tight, and uh, I basically, I tore this a new one and said that I wouldn't touch it with a barge pole. However, um, I can actually, and I've checked it out, there is air that passes through the seals. I mean, I can... I mean, I can feel air coming out the bottom slot here. I can feel air coming out the top slot here. So... 
my initial uh, concerns uh, were wrong, there you go. Uh, the other thing that uh, I think I put a note up is I'm, I'm running these batteries down as low as I can till they cut off. I'm just hoping it doesn't cost me a pair of batteries uh, because according to the spec sheet which I was reading through, uh, there is a cut off in there um, under voltage so I just I'm just going to have to keep running this and running this until it just cuts out. Uh, but I will update the YouTube description and let you know when it cuts out, if indeed it did. Um, and other than that, uh, that's really it for the updates. Um, yeah, listen, I think this is aimed at a certain type of people that know what they're doing. Uh, I wouldn't advise this to a, a newbie or, or somebody that wasn't aware of Ohm's Law and stuff like that and battery safety. Um, which is kind of strange because with a regulated device you shouldn't have any issues but it's just, I don't know. Anyway, that's it from me. I'm away this time. Bye.